How did Dubai get so rich? Have you ever wondered how Dubai became so rich? I also did. At first, I believed their wealth was derived from their oil, but holy crap, I was mistaken. Only 1% of Dubai's income comes from oil, which was discovered there only 50 years ago. What makes Dubai so wealthy, then? Wondering how Dubai amassed all of its wealth? Then, you need to see this video. The Trucial Coast of what is now the UAE was home to a thriving pearl industry from the 1770s until the late 1930s. For the people of the Persian Gulf, pearl diving was supposed to be a modest beginning in trade, but it laid the groundwork for something much more significant later on. After competing with Abu Dhabi for oil in the late 1950s, Dubai struggled and did not have significant oil income, in contrast to Abu Dhabi, which prospered. Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai, decided then that something needed to change. He began making investments in infrastructure as a result, and in 1960, he built Dubai's first airport. This also made it possible for the development of a number of further infrastructure projects, which helped them see that investing in infrastructure is a long-term plan and provided their economy some optimism. As a result, tourism increased and the little oil they did find was used to create the modern Dubai. Due to its cutting-edge infrastructure, Dubai has developed into one of the top tourist destinations in the world. Up to 20% of Dubai's GDP comes from the travel and tourism sector. This also made it possible for the development of a number of further infrastructure projects, which helped them see that investing in infrastructure is a long-term plan and provided their economy some optimism. This increased tourists and everything else. The little oil they found was utilized in the construction of the current Dubai. Due to its cutting-edge infrastructure, Dubai has developed into one of the top tourist destinations in the world. Up to 20% of Dubai's GDP comes from the travel and tourism sector. The trade industry expanded as a result of infrastructures. In 1985, Dubai created Jafsa, the biggest free zone in the world, as its first free zone. This also resulted in the creation of 30 additional free zones that give foreigners tax savings, custom duty advantages, and exemptions. As a result, additional international enterprises were drawn in. A significant portion of these Jefsa businesses account for 20% of Dubai's foreign investment. Additionally, 144,000 workers are responsible for $80 billion in non-oil revenue. 11% of the city's GDP is represented by it. The British government also contributed massively to the development of Dubai and the Emirate at large because the region is the London Gateway Poor. Following the Gulf states' discovery of their first oil field in 1966, the UK and Dubai's relationship grew more and more beneficial. Sheikh Rashid, however, stated that he had both good and terrible news to share. Oil was discovered, but not much. However, the city's prosperity wasn't reliant on the sale of oil. Instead, the oil was utilized to support Sheikh Rashid's current economic plan, which centers on trade, tourism, and banking. As the globe uses more renewable energy and reduces its dependency on oil, that decision now appears to have been a wise one. The fact that Dubai today possesses the busiest airport in the world for international passenger traffic solidifies the city's status as a gateway to the east. But it's not just a brief stopover anymore. Moreover, millions of tourists now travel there. This was made feasible by the state's extensive infrastructure, which was essentially inactive for a long time. With the globe becoming more and more international, Sheikh's risky gamble of borrowing tens of billions of dollars appeared to have paid off, transforming this hitherto sleepy outpost into one of the most influential cities on the planet. With income coming from various sources, Dubai's economy has remained vibrant and varied. Contrary to what the general public thinks, the city's GDP is primarily not oil-based. The majority of its income is generated through the manufacture of goods, the delivery of services, and tourism. I sincerely appreciate everyone's attention. Keep checking back for more of our videos and feel free to comment below with any ideas you have for future subjects you think we should explore. Don't forget to like and subscribe too. Also, ring the notification bell.